Good tidings. Here's what's new in DevTools in Chrome 79. The network panel can now help you understand why a cookie was blocked. After recording network activity, select a resource and then navigate to the updated cookies tab. Response cookies with a yellow background were sent over the wire but not stored, and you can hover over more information to learn why. If you click Show Filtered Out Request Cookies, you can see request cookies that weren't sent over the wire. Check out web.dev slash same site dash cookies dash explained to understand why you might be seeing more block cookies in Chrome 79. You can now simulate the prefers color scheme and prefers reduced motion media queries from the rendering tab. Press Escape to show the drawer, click More Tools, select Rendering, then set the prefers color scheme dropdown to light or dark, or set the prefers reduced motion dropdown to reduce. Check out web.dev slash prefers dash color dash scheme and web.dev slash prefers dash reduced dash motion to learn more about the media queries. The coverage tab has a few updates. If you're not familiar with the coverage tab, check out this find unused JavaScript and CSS guide. In Chrome 79, DevTools is using a new color combination to represent unused code, which is red, and used code, which is bluish. This new color combo is more accessible for people with color vision deficiencies. There's also a new type filter that lets you focus on CSS or JS files. The Initiator tab in the Network panel now shows you the JavaScript call stack leading up to the network request. After recording network activity, click a resource, then go to the Initiator tab and look at the Request Call Stack section to see the JavaScript calls leading up to the network request. You can also access this information by hovering over the Initiator column. We added the call stack to the Initiator tab because it's more accessible. DevTools now respects your indentation preferences again, and there's also a bug fix for Emacs keyboard shortcuts. For this demo, I've started to write some code to print out the URL of each image on the page. When I press Enter, DevTools indents four spaces by default, but I prefer two spaces, so let's press F1 to open settings and then set default indentation to two spaces. Now, when I add a new line, DevTools only indents with two spaces. The console and sources panel also support Emacs shortcuts again, like Control P to move the cursor to the line above and Control H to delete a character. Here's a bonus tip. Suppose you want to rename this variable. One way to do that is to double click the variable to select it, then press Control D or Command D on Mac. DevTools selects each instance of the string, and if you start typing, all instances will be replaced. That's all for Chrome 79. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in six weeks.